This is the freshman quad on the campus of Southern Methodist University, and probably nowhere in Dallas today could you find so many young people who will be affected by the new law, at least not in one place, since freshmen were moving in today. But legal rights and adult responsibilities seemed far from their minds. They were more concerned about meeting their new roommate, when the next orientation would be held, and where to get their student ID cards. Over in Morrison Hall, someone had put up a thing called the First Day Graffiti. There were all kinds of things written on it, but nothing about adult privileges. For most of these students, those privileges would mean only one thing, the right to drink. And at SMU, that means 18 to 20-year-olds now will be able to drink in their dorm rooms. To keep that under control is the job of Libby Bovard. She's a sophomore advisor in McIlvaney Hall. Libby feels freshman drinking might make it more difficult to keep down the noise during quiet hours but she doesn't think it'll cause that much of a problem. Neither does Link Simpson. He's a freshman from Texas City who moved into Morrison Hall, and he plans to take advantage of his new privilege. The students here at SMU seem to feel that the new privileges for 18 to 20 year olds won't make all that much difference, with the possible exception of the drinking privileges. And apparently, that might not make so much difference either. One student may have summed it up when he said, this now makes legal what we hid before. Jack Hill, Channel 8 News on the Move.